six conservative justices on the Supreme Court handed down a decision that eliminates 50 years of abortion protections in America. They essentially said that the Constitution makes no express reference to the right to abortion, and therefore it's the Supreme Court's overstepping of states' rights to allow abortion to be protected. Today, the Supreme Court of the United States expressly took away a constitutional right from the American people that it had already recognized. They didn't limit it, they simply took it away. Up until this, uh, for the past 50 years, the decision Roe v. Wade has protected abortion in America up until about 24 weeks into a pregnancy. It's about halfway through a pregnancy. States could regulate it after that. Now, it's completely flipped. The Supreme Court says states can regulate abortion however they want, and in the absence of any federal law about abortion regulation, it means that abortion could be illegal or sharply curtailed in as many as half of states in America, and that includes 13 immediately with this decision. They have what's called trigger laws on the books, which means if Roe v. Wade were to ever be overturned, and it just was, abortion would be banned or severely restricted immediately. Today, the Republican-controlled Supreme Court has achieved their dark, extreme goal of ripping away a woman's right to make their own dis reproductive health decisions. Because of Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, and the Republican Party, their supermajority in the Supreme Court, American women today have less freedom than their mothers. This decision is monumental, but it wasn't necessarily a surprise. That's because in May, Politico got something that we hardly ever get from the Supreme Court, and that's a leaked draft opinion. Uh, in that opinion, it's very much the same as the opinion the Supreme Court ended up releasing. Justice Samuel Alito argues again that the Constitution doesn't explicitly say there's a right to an abortion, and so the Supreme Court should not affirm that right. My body, my choice. The public outrage after that opinion was leaked did nothing to dissuade Samuel Alito or the other five conservative justices, three of whom are Trump appointees, from standing by this opinion. The Supreme Court was not bullied by the far left mob. Threats of violence against the justices did not win. This Supreme Court is one of the most conservative in modern court history. And there are only three liberal justices on the court. All of them dissented with this opinion. That wasn't gonna change anything. As conservative justices pointed out in this opinion, it doesn't mean abortion is banned in America. Women would still be able to get abortions. There will still be women in the states who will want or need abortions. They have several different options. There are male pills, and it's currently a, a debate right now whether you can get prescribed that over the phone. They can travel out of state. Another reason this decision is so controversial is because of the reasoning Justice Alito and conservatives used to end Roe v. Wade. What he said was that abortion isn't mentioned in the Constitution. But he specifically said, that doesn't mean that, that states could make illegal same-sex marriage, not mentioned in the Constitution. Contraception, not mentioned in the Constitution. IVF, not mentioned in the Constitution. What Justice Alito said was, I'm applying this logic up to abortion, and that's it. And what I think many of our colleagues perhaps haven't quite, or perhaps they have fully understood, is that this also undermines the right to privacy in the United States of America. On the left, there's a concern, and when I talk to legal experts, they say it's a valid concern, that there could be a lot of other rights on the chopping block that recently the left specifically has taken for granted.